The Office button is displayed in the top left of the Excel screen. When you click on it, a menu is displayed which resembles menus found in most programs and indeed in previous versions of Excel. Here you can create new documents, open existing documents, save documents, print and prepare documents for distribution. You can close the currently active document or exit Excel altogether. On the right hand side of the Office button menu I displayed a list of the recently opened files. Next to each file is a pin icon. Clicking on this icon pins the document, which means that it won't disappear from the list of recently opened files, while other unpinned documents will eventually disappear from the list as new documents are created and opened. Last but not least, it's here that you'll find Excel options. In previous versions of Excel, Options was found under the Tools menu. Options are grouped together in a series of categorized tabs, which are arranged in a column. Simply click on a tab to reveal the options in that tab. These options control the way that Excel works. Let's take a couple of examples. You'll notice that the Developer tab is not visible. This is the default behavior when Excel is first installed on your machine. To make it visible, choose Excel Options from the Office button and activate the option Show Developer tab in the ribbon. That displays the Developer tab. Another example, by default, every new document you create has three sheets. If you find this is unnecessary, or indeed insufficient, you can change the number of sheets which each new workbook will contain. Again, choose Excel Options from the Office button, and in the section headed When Creating New Workbooks, include this many sheets, enter the number of sheets that you prefer. Each time you create a new workbook from then on, it will contain that number of sheets.